Howdy y'all, Mr. Cosby here coming to you from Atascocita, Texas. And today we're going to talk about titrations and titration calculations. So, get your periodic table, get a calculator, and let's get started. Now I'm going to make a few assumptions. One, I'm going to assume you understand molarity. Two, I'm going to assume you are familiar with titrations and that you know how to use molar mass and that you are familiar with stoichiometry. Now, if you're weak in any of these areas, there's no reason to be doing a titration. What you need to do is go back to my YouTube channel, find these lessons, and get prepared. Uh, if you don't know stoichiometry, you're not ready for titrations. The problem, phosphoric acid is titrated with 0.1214 molar sodium hydroxide standard solution. It takes 41.56 milliliters of sodium hydroxide to reach the end point. What is the mass of the uh, H3PO4 or phosphoric acid? And first thing I do is make sure that your equation is balanced. And I note that that is a balanced equation. And note that we have a standard solution of 0.1214 molar sodium hydroxide. So it's this standard solution we are going to use to find out the mass of phosphoric acid. And we know that during titration, it, it took 41.56 milliliters of sodium hydroxide to reach the end point. So we need to know the molar ratio. And the mole ratio is 3 moles of sodium hydroxide per 1 mole of uh, phosphoric acid. And we need to remember that it's a 3 to 1 relationship there. So let's lay out a plan. And that plan is going to be first to determine the moles of sodium hydroxide used, and then determine the moles of phosphoric acid. We'll then find the molar mass of the phosphoric acid. And with that, we'll calculate the mass of phosphoric acid. Won't be too difficult. So first, let's do the mole calculation for sodium hydroxide. There's our moles. And remember that molarity means moles per liter of solution. All we have to do is multiply that by the milliliters. Now, we're going to need to change the milliliters there to liters. So let's do that. And we'll move the decimal three places to the left. Cross out our liters. Then we're going to plug and chug. And here's our answer. Using four sig figs, we get 5.045 times 10 to the negative 3 moles sodium hydroxide. Now let's do moles phosphoric acid. We know there are 5.045 times 10 to the negative 3 moles of sodium hydroxide. We also know that there's a 3 to 1 relationship of uh, sodium hydroxide to phosphoric acid. So what we'll do is we'll... Uh, use that to convert. And note that I've put it in such a way our moles sodium hydroxide cancel out. We can now take that and plug and chug it. And voila! Alright, let's go to the next step. Molar mass. Well, to figure out the molar mass of uh, phosphoric acid, what we want to do is go to the periodic table and on the periodic table find hydrogen and that's about 1.01 grams per mole. Then find phosphoric acid, and that's about 30.97 grams per mole. Then find oxygen, and that is 16.00 grams per mole. And notice now I'm using about two decimal places on all these because that is my usual uh, take in the classroom. So that's what I'll do here as well. Now, let's go back to our blackboard, write all the values down, Go ahead and plug and chug, and there's our answer, 98.00 grams of phosphoric acid per mole. Now we can use that to help us determine the mass. We know there are 1.682 times 10 to the negative 3 moles of phosphoric acid. Multiply that to the uh, moles or grams per mole, and cross that out plug and chug, and we have our answer. 0.1648 grams of phosphoric acid is what we have. Great. Let's recap. 
you calculated you calculated the moles of sodium hydroxide and phosphoric acid you determined the mole ratio and then you found the molar mass of phosphoric acid and then you calculated the mass of the uh, H3PO4 present. All right, as usual, if you have any questions, send an email to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com and check out my websites for all kinds of good stuff and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Happy irons, everybody.